It's happened! The Texas Rangers win the World Series! When the season ends, is baseball really over? Of course not. It's early morning practices. It's pickup games, whenever and wherever. It's the anticipation for the game today and the crack of the bat tomorrow. It's history. And it's groundbreaking. It's a dream that becomes a reality. It's believing through all the stops along the way to the journey home. When it's in your DNA, it's always time to play ball. This is Boog Shabby. Welcome to the show. Start the Harlem River Fans, in support. I really like what they've done with the fence line out there. Defensively, I think it's important. In the when the season ends, is baseball really open? Thank you. 
Mad Dog. Thank you. 
Welcome back to MLB Tonight. I'm Robert Flores here alongside with former GM Dan O'Dowd and baseball researcher Sarah Langs. MLB Draft Combine is coming up. It's always an exciting time. Dan, what can we expect? What are you going to be looking for? Well, Robert, for me, this is one of the most important events on the baseball calendar each and every year. If you look at it, all the clubs get a chance to answer the questions they have on the players. And then all the best players in the country get to showcase their skills in front of 30 clubs. So, I mean, I'm just really excited to see what's going to happen. Sarah, it's a four-day event. It's held at East Field in Phoenix. What advanced metrics can players and viewers expect to see? I mean, there's so much data with this event. Part of why I love it so much. And I've been there every time yep. this has been held. So glad we're back again. For pitchers, you've got pitch velocity, you've got spin rate, you've got extension. For hitters, we have your exit velocity, launching, and, of course, the distance on those home runs. Well, congratulations and good luck to all the young athletes as they continue their journey to hopefully one day land in the big leagues. Welcome to day one of the MLB Draft Combine from Chase Field in Arizona. The top high school and college player prospects showcased their skills this week, giving all MLB clubs another opportunity to evaluate this year's draft class. It should be an impactful few days here in the desert. Alongside Sarah Langs, I'm Dan O'Dowd, and it's time for batting practice. So let's focus on what's happening down in the cage. Sarah, BP started now, and uh, this is where the scouts really, really bear down. 
They're looking at presence in the box. They're looking at the balance, rhythm, and timing of the swings. They're looking at how clean a swing path is. They're looking at how connected a player can be to a swing. And they're looking at the ability if they can hit the ball the entire field. And there's so much data that comes along with BP. We've got exit velocity, which means we can look at how often the player is hitting the ball hard. In this day and age, hitting the ball hard has an actual definition. That's 95 plus miles an hour. And why do we care about that? Because in today's game, if you hit the ball hard, you're going to hit about 500 on those batting balls with a 1,000 slugging percent. Another stat we'll look at is launch angle. And what we define as a sweet spot batting ball is 8 to 32 degrees of launch angle, basically a line drive. So I'll be looking at how often these players will be making that kind of contact as well. You know, I think about big league players like uh, Alvarez, Judge, Otani, Trout. Um, their hard hit ball data is crazy. Their launch angles are very, very, very consistent. And you add all the things that we're evaluating and think about, Sarah, the pressure these young players are under right now is probably the most pressure-packed BP these players have ever taken in their careers. Solid round of batting practice, uh, showed great presence in the box, uh, stayed through the ball exceptionally well, no panic at all in the swing. I would just like to see him cover all parts of the zone a little bit better. Now we're now into outfield play. Uh, this is kind of one of my favorite parts of the combine. Um, scouts look at this from a variety of different perspectives. They're looking at breaks and angle to the ball, um, which is crucial uh, for above average defensive play. This part of the drill, we're looking at how, how quickly they get to the ball, how under control they are, and the strength of their throws and the accuracy of the throw. Deep down scouting perspective, they're really trying to see the spin on the ball, how clean it is, and so they can get that one hop throw into third base and home play. No, I'm with you. I'm loving this. There's so many different ways to evaluate outfield defense in today's game. Of course, we can measure that arm strength. We can look at that accuracy of those throws, as you were saying. We can also measure speed, which is such an important part of playing the outfield. If you're not fast enough in the outfield to get to that ball, Everything else is moot, so we can really measure all different aspects of playing the outfield. And when you, you look at some of these players and then you think about the great right fielders, which is the arm strength position in our game, and you think about Cunha, and you think about Tatis, you think about Kyle Tucker, Jason Hayward for a long period of time. And Sarah, pay particular attention now how they're making the outfielders move to the ball. They're trying to really see body movement and body awareness and how under control they are athletically when they go to execute this particular skill. Well, as you said, right field is indeed the premier arm strength position in today's game, and I've gotten a number of you on that. In 2023, right fielders had an average max effort arm strength of 90.9 miles an hour. That means the top 10% of all right fielders throws average almost 91 miles an hour. That's really incredible to think about. If you think about it in a game, when you're trying to build a complete roster, part of it is your defensive acumen. So when you have corner outfielders, in particular, really shut down a runny game, that means it changes the whole dynamic of positioning from a competitive standpoint. And so these little simple drills, scouts are now projecting how those players will affect their ability to put that kind of defensive team on the field at the major league level. Really solid average, uh, did everything well, nothing exceptionally well. Very, very projectable kid, very projectable body. I think every part of his defensive play can take another step in professional baseball with the right instruction and his discipline and his want to to be the very best defensive player he can be.
Well, we're down to the pitchers now, Sarah, and... variety of things scouts are looking for when they look at pitcher they're looking at you know how well their body works over the rubber i talk about balance rhythm and timing within their delivery they're certainly looking at arm strength they're going to measure spin horizontal movement but you really going to look at command i mean where the catcher's set up can you throw the ball to that spot you know within the strike zone or outside the strike zone and can you do that with multiple pitches as you said, are the handful of things that will be measured here, of course, the velocity. You mentioned spin rate. Something else clubs take a look at is the active spin. That's what percentage of that spin rate actually contributes to movement, as opposed to just spinning but not changing the way the ball is actually moving. And so that's why deliveries are so important. Every one of those metrics, Sarah, is tied to your ability to duplicate your unique body type. And that's why you can get a lot out of bullpen sessions by bearing down on a pitcher's delivery. Deep projection. When you gamble on this type of young man, you're really just gambling on the arm strength and your ability from a development standpoint to teach him a functional delivery so he can pitch to his arm strength.
So digging in, Art Ortega. Two and one now. This out to center, country boy. Sizing this one up, hauls that one in. Runner at first. And next, the cleanup hitter, Gilberto Vergara. Out to center. Pulls it down. They leave one runner on base. We've played one inning, no score. Here's the center fielder, Mad Dog Country Boy. Hey, we have got one right here. Here you go. Chases a high fastball there. The pitcher oh, has to see the hitter getting aggressive on the high stuff. Maybe throw one even higher and induce a chase. Swing and a miss. And the slider right there. Go Obvious that he was strike. swinging for the fences. Tough to do it on a pitch in that location. That one to first, Ortega. Tosses to the pitcher, oh. covering the bag. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. So with a runner at second and one hey, away, and the batter will be the shortstop, Jeff Heim. 3-1 now. Center field. And it drops in. Here's the throw. Safe! In there. Back here in the desert, Here's all set the for the start up. of this inning. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Mad Dog Country Boy. Winds and here's the pitch. Aye. Gets that fastball by the swing upstairs. All one's the count. Hey now, hey now. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. And now the center fielder, Mad Dog Country Boy. Three pitch strikeout in the last AB will definitely want to do better this time. Inside, almost got the hitter. The go ahead run aboard at first with nobody out. Hey. Swings through it. I don't know how you catch up ball, to that one. one. Hey, keep it going up there. Your turn, your turn. Now a fly ball to right center, giving chase this. long run. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. We got you. Now up Bernardo Muriel. The other way. And it stays fair. One runs in. Another comes in to score. It's two zip. At the plate, Gilberto Vergara. Hey, one, down, one, down, one out one down. and the possible tying and go ahead runs on base. It's this one to fairly deep center field. Makes the grab. Runner tags it second. The throw in. Up to third Slee with two gone. We're back here at the ballpark. Here's the, Here's the catcher, yeah. Alvaro Rincon. Hey, no One run game in the bottom of the ninth. High fly to center, country boy. Sizes this one up, makes the catch. Clarence hey, Pody, the next to hit. St. John is just one strike away. Lifted in the air to right center. That's the ball game. No complaints getting a team win, but he's capable of giving them more than he did today. Nothing too bad, but nothing great either.
Welcome to those of you joining us now. Ben Gelman here bringing you the action. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth inning. Ready to right go here. for the last half of the inning. Here's the third baseman, hey, Jesus no Delgadio. Wines, kicks, here's the pitch. Hey. That one finds the zone. It's all well and good to be patient and drive up go. the pitch count, but when you get a first pitch fastball like that, in this big a spot, gotta unload. Give him a chair. One run game in the bottom of the ninth. Three. And a swing and a miss. One out, bottom of the ninth. He came out of the bullpen looking sharp. Three pitch strikeout really sets a tone and the opposing lineup is gonna have a hard time keeping him from the save. Pena at the plate now and that's inside. That one down, that one down. Next pitch in for a strike. A one run lead here in the second game of the series. Foul ball there. Back and a miss, that's a strikeout. And this is the kind of work the manager was hoping for, yeah, calling him out of the right. bullpen to start this inning. Those two straight Ks really build confidence for the whole On the ground to the right side. And that oh. is the ball game. Mad Dog Country Boy digs in now. Hey, get that sand right here. Foul ball there. You may be wondering just how does a player score a summons to the invitation only draft combine? Well, eligible high school and college players are selected by a committee of MLB, USA Baseball, and MLB club scouting executives. Swing and a miss, that one in the dirt. Gets to it, on to first, out. out. Two away now after the drop third strike. Runner at second here with two gone. Dudley Matlock will hit next. The 0-1. This out to center, country boy, on the way over. And that's the third out. One runner left stranded, still behind at 3-0. Back here at Chase Field, here's a speed threat, Stephen Burke. One-two pitch. Base knock, center field. So digging in, Drew... Thank you. 
gets. Burke over at second. Chung at first. One out. On a line for a base hit. Around third. Runner from second crosses the plate. And it's now a two-run game. Now it's the right fielder, Bartolo Vizcayeno. Two and two, and the pitch. Swing, and a ball popped up. And it falls! One run's in. Two runs are in. In there, that's a double. Here's the third baseman, Ray Matthews. Oh, one now. Hammered and now maybe extra bases. One run comes in. Another comes in to score. It's 5-3. In safely with a double second of the day. So up next, now, Mad fun. Dog Country Boy. 0 for 1 so far. Hey, one out here. We got one. Let's go. Pitch to him. better. Come on. Hey. And a big swing and a miss. Oh, and one. Eight, Comes up empty, two. strike two. Right, he reached right. back and two blew strikes. the high heat by him. Batter didn't have much of a chance to catch up to that. That oh, one. one just misses. Nice take. Grounder left nope. side nope. and foul ball. Looked like he was a little behind on the fastball. Might have been trying to sit back for the breaking ball. 1-2 offering. Smoked on the ground to second. Tosses to first. And there are two outs. Mad Dog Country Boy now at the plate. Let's go, kid. Right While here. all of these prospects expect right, to be drafted, the personalized player report they all receive, right, including right. evaluation data and tools for improvement, makes yeah. participation here a valuable experience no count. matter what happens in the future. Hey, looking for yours now. Come on, Man at second with two down. Hey. Swing and a miss. No balls, two oh, strikes. Two Obvious that he was swinging for the fences. Tough to do it on a pitch in that location. And a swing and a miss. They limit the damage here. They get. And here is Ray Matthews. Right here one time, kid. That's towards center. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. The throw in to second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, down, down. Mad Dog Country Boy. Hey, Over three with turn. two strikeouts and a ground out. Got ah. it started a little too early there, strike one. Oh, and He's one. clearly willing to swing at that pitch that low in the zone. The pitcher has to notice that. If he does, he's got a better shot at inducing the double play. Ah. Oh, and two waves at that one. No balls, Some two nasty strikes. action on his sinker, and hitters need to force him to come up in the zone if they want to avoid chasing the low stuff. Three. Swings and misses, struck him out. So digging in, Deacon Chung. Out to center. Country boy settles under it. Runner tagging for third. Here's the throw. And makes it up to third with one away. Country boy with a forgettable showing in the loss. Had three strikeouts and no hits. That's one you'd like to flush. Might be time to get in an extra session or two in the batting cage. He can do much better than this, and they need that from him.
Mad Dog Country Boy digs in now. Hey, get that sand right here. Foul ball there. You may be wondering just how does a player score a summons to the invitation-only draft combine? Well, eligible high school and college players are selected by a committee of MLB, USA Baseball, and MLB club scouting executives. Swing and a miss, that one in the dirt. Gets to it, on to first, out. out. Two away now after the drop third strike. Runner at second here with two gone. Dudley Matlock will hit next. The 0-1. This out to center, Country Boy on the way over. And that's the third out. One runner left stranded, still behind at 3-0. Right, Back here time. at Chase Field, here's a speed threat, Stephen Burke. One-two pitch. Base knock, uh, center field. So digging in, Drew. Gets. Burke over at second. Chung at first, one out. On a line for a base hit. Around third. Runner from second crosses the plate, and it's now a two run game. Now it's the right fielder, Bartolo Vizcayeno. Two and two, and the pitch. Swing, and a ball popped up. And it falls! One runs in, two runs are in. In there, that's a double. Here's the third baseman, Ray Matthews. Oh, one now. Hammered, and now maybe extra bases. One run comes in. Another comes in to score. It's 5-3. In safely with a double second of the day. So up next, now, Mad fella. Dog Country Boy. 0 for 1 so far. Hey, one out here. We got one. Let's go. Pitch to him. No better. Come on. And a big swing and a miss. 0 and 1. Comes up empty, strike two. He reached back and blew the high heat by him. Batter didn't have much of a chance to catch up to that. That one just misses. Nice take. Grounder left side and foul ball. Looked like he was a little behind on the fastball. Might have been trying to sit back for the breaking ball. One, two offering. Smoked on the ground to second. Tosses to first. And there are two outs. Mad Dog Country Boy now at the plate. Let's go, kid. One time right While here. all of these prospects expect hey, to be drafted, the personalized player report they all receive, right, including on. evaluation data and tools for improvement, makes yeah. participation here a valuable experience no matter what happens in the future. Now, Man on, at second with two down. Hey. Swing and a miss. No balls, two oh, strikes. Two Obvious that he was swinging for the fences. Tough to do it on a pitch in that location. Hey. And a swing and a miss. They limit the damage here. They get...
And here is Ray Matthews. That's toward center. Drops in for a hit, couldn't run it down. The throw in to second, not gonna get him, he's in there. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Mad Dog Country Boy. Over hey, three with two turn. strikeouts and a ground out. Got it started a little too early there, strike one. Oh, and he's one. clearly willing to swing at that no pitch low in the zone. The pitcher has to notice that. If he does, he's got a better shot at inducing the double play. Ah. Owen, oh, too, waves at that one. No ball, Some nasty strikes. action on his sinker, and hitters need to force him to come up in the zone if they want to avoid chasing the low stuff. Three. Swings and misses, struck him out. So digging oh, yeah, in, Deacon turn, Chung. Out to center. Country boy settles under it. Runner tagging for third. Here's the throw. And makes it up to third with one away. Country boy with a forgettable showing in the loss. Had three strikeouts and no hits. That's one you'd like to flush. Might be time to get in an extra session or two in the batting cage. He can do much better than this, and they need that from him. With the ninth pick of the 11th round, the Milwaukee Brewers select Mad Dog, Country Boy, a two-way player from the international region. So another player that we saw at the MLB Draft Combine off the board in the middle rounds of this year's draft. What's the reaction here to this pick? Starting with you, Sarah. Well, this player is a pretty good combine, but not the absolute best we've ever seen. I think there were some questions, but there's a lot of metrics that show there will be upside here. So I'm very excited to see how this player progresses through the minors. Yeah, I agree with Sarah completely, Robert. Uh, there are some question marks, but I do see upside. What I also see is a really good floor for this individual player. And, you know, guys with good floors sometimes end up being some of the better players that come out of the draft.